classic cocktails combined with world-class entertainment. It is a perfect mix for West Town's new hotspot, Lemon Chicago. Here with more on this cocktail bar and show space, Lemon Chicago owner Jeremy Barrett. Thanks so much for being here. Hello, thank you for having me back. This is exciting because you guys are on the cusp of opening soon. Yes. Um, and it's a space for local talents, Regional talent yeah, to really showcase. It's definitely going to be a lot of local to start, but our hope is over the course of our tenure there that we can get touring bands and uh, all kinds of different performance from, from everywhere we can. But definitely we want to highlight Chicago's talent scene for sure. That's cool. great. So you have brought a lot with you today. So what we're making two drinks today. What are we starting yeah, with? Yeah, we're going to start with the Bow Art Stinger. Um, what we're doing here is Bigale Kina Kina. What is that? Uh, this is an Amaro, or because it comes from France, it's okay. referred to as an Amer. Uh, really, really beautiful stuff. They combine both bitter and sweet mm. orange peels mm -hmm. and macerate that along with different herbs, botanicals, spices. So very medium bitter, medium sweet. Uh, great in a black Manhattan if you want to substitute that out for oh, vermouth. Wow. Oh, interesting. Uh, then Jafar, which we're highlighting today, this is their menthe pastille. So it's essentially like a creme de menthe style liqueur. Okay. Uh, what's really nice about this is they're actually sourcing the spearmint uh, from the Loire Valley. And they do this like steam distilled process. Wow. Uh, which gives you this really nice, crisp, refreshing, and of course, minty liqueur that goes in there. Hey, this sounds very fancy, so how would you describe your cocktail menu? Uh, well, my this is not necessarily on um, my cocktail menu. This okay. is something that we'll, we'll have ingredients so we can work with. But this is, our cocktail menu is going to be very classics focused, but we'll of course have our own seasonals, or we're calling them bartender's choice. Oh, fun. Okay. As well as a whole category of what we're calling the basics, which is like, what do people feel bad ordering? What's <laughs> trending? Yeah. But let's just lean into that and make the best version of it. So, Aperol spritz, espresso martini, oh, yeah, yeah. spicy say. mezcal margarita, right? <laughs> okay. Let's just make the best version of it as we can. That's okay. great. Uh, lastly, in the Beau Art Stinger, we're going to do a little bit of cognac, part cognac. Uh, this is a blend of two different uh, varietals of grapes coming from cognac, France. Uh, since what we're going to do here is we're actually putting this over crushed ice. Uh, was we're, usually when you're stirring, you're looking for right to the proper amount of dilution. Yeah. Since we're going over the crushed ice, uh, it's going to dilute even quicker as it sits. Yep. Oh. So we're really just going to do a, a quick stir, mix those ingredients up, and then I'm just going to strain that into the, both the glasses. Because the crushed ice and then the mint give me the mint julep feel. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And this has some of, some remnants of that, specifically obviously with the uh, mint seal in there. Yeah. Uh, but it's so really, really lovely. You'll taste in just a second. I love the crush. I was going to say, who doesn't love the crush? Who doesn't, right? <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> That's great. Oh my gosh, it smells really good. It looks pretty. Yeah. And I love how you're over icing it. Oh yeah, so especially when you're working with these uh, crushed ice cocktails, a lot of times you want to go for this almost like mound yeah. on top, yeah. right? It's like a snow cone. And I'm then just, to, yeah, cone. exactly. <laughs> of course, some fresh mint on top is going to be a nice garnish for that. Um, it's so pretty. Oh. Gotta spank your mint. That's what she said. No, that, hey, no, I, this is something we learned on the show. And now I love it. Gotta spank it. You gotta, gotta spank it. it up. Uh, and don't be stingy Gosh, on the it mint. It smells great. Yeah. Because so, you, do, you do get the scent before you drink it, and it changes the. Yeah, of Ooh, course. Okay. Great, thank you. You. you want, yeah, essentially the Cheers. mint's gonna go Cheers. right into you and really, really activate that mm. there. Uh, next, what we're gonna make is a cure royale. So this Ooh. is. Oh, yeah. That you like? Yeah, that's good. Pretty that's nice. Really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jeez, Ooh. it's got like a. I don't know. There's, there's, what's that? It's, I can't put my finger on it. It's like a. It's not. I was gonna say um, black licorice. But oh, it doesn't. It's yeah. not that. It's like a. I'm sure there's maybe a little bit of anise in the. Yes. Uh, the that's the, that's the fancy name. Yes. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, so next in the Cure Royale. So this is based off of a, a very old uh, 19th century classic cocktail called the Cure, which was actually used with just still sparkling white wine, yep. uh, but with Jaffard's fantastic cassis. They're actually sourcing these uh, black currant berries about 30 miles from the distillery, which is really, really cool. Uh, but producing this really rich, luxurious, deep berry fruit. Oh. So this is a very, very easy cocktail to do at home or at parties, uh, specifically around the holidays, is you're just pouring about a half an ounce of that in there. And typically this calls Ooh, for champagne. However, I don't know about you, but I am, it's kind of expensive to yeah, use champagne. Yeah, I'm like, I like bubbles no matter where they're from. Yes. Uh, so I'm actually using a, a really, really nice cava. This is Nguera and Bubbles. This is what we're going to be using as kind of our house, both uh, just pouring for glassware, but also it's fantastic for cocktailing. It's know. really, really soft, nice and bubbly. And this kind of, in a way, contradicts this really, really heavy, delicious, um, sweet liqueur that also has some nice bitterness and tartness in there. And you don't have to mix it. It looks like it exactly, does Exactly, right? So you. if you yeah. put the liqueur in first and just pour the bubbles right over, what it's going to do is just mix itself 
Then uh, different garnishes. I like to throw in a blackberry. Okay. But for this, we're gonna do a little bit of Ooh, lemon oil yeah. over the top. Ooh, See, last nice. time I was here, I lost my channel knife, so I had to I had to improvise. So uh, I'm just pre-peeling this one. Okay. You can make your own either That's twist. So cool. It's very pretty. Or a nice little uh, twill as I'm doing here. You can see. Wonderful. Hey, thank you. Of course. Oh, this is really fun. And I have to imagine that liqueur is very concentrated. Uh, yes, it rich. is. Yeah. It is. It's very rich. So a little goes a long yeah. way. Uh, but having a fantastic Ooh, cassis good. at your home bar is just great. Mm -hmm. Use a lot of different cocktails. Ooh, for that's sure. really good. I was thinking this is a great breakfast. Yeah, cocktail. that is. Breakfast <laughs> cocktail. Yeah, yeah. Or any time of the day. Right. If you ask, sure. yeah. yeah. Let's talk about Lemon Chicago because you guys are going to be a really unique space uh, and really a unique program for hi your hiring. You're doing things different. Yes, yes. Uh, we want to break a lot of the norms of uh, of this industry. Um, first of all, we were even before the change, which we're really excited about. We're going to plan on paying our staff above minimum wage. Wow. Uh, we always rely on tips, which is just how this has always worked. Yeah. But we're in a way trying to get away from that. Uh, it was it was a very hard struggle deciding whether or not we were going to have tips at all or not. But in, in the end, we decided for sure we want to. Uh, but we're also providing healthcare, even be our wow. first. Uh, ownership business. It was really, really big on us for employee benefits yeah. and uh, finding a way around that and getting to the point where we can provide mental health days, uh, therapy, dental, vision, everything. Uh, if the staff wants it, is it was something we were really, really close to us and near and dear that to our hearts. So yeah. And I have to imagine that people are seeking you out to be employed mm -hmm. at Lemon Chicago. Uh, <laughs> yes, we have a, a very long line of incredibly talented bartenders and uh, friends working in the industry. It's mostly all friends and people we've worked with at this point, but I'm sure <laughs> we'll get burned out at some point and uh, have to hire some more people, but we're very excited to have the team that we have. Uh, yeah. Jeremy awesome. Barrett, thank you so much, owner of Lemon Chicago, and there's all their information right there. They're opening up real soon. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you.